Hi guys, I just want to make a video with a couple thoughts going through my head and it's kind of going to handle a few things and that is carry weight is what matters. Carry weight, having pistols, CCW carry rotation that fill different niches as far as carry weight and as far as threat assessment. You really need three slash four different size weight pistols uh, to have fun and to carry for different threat, depending on if you live in a bad area that's bad all the time, well, your low threat option may go away or that might be more uh, a discrete option, pocket carry option, uh, something only to that effect. I paused it there because I decided to add a fifth to this, which actually probably fills all the niches and voids that you need. And there could be some carryover. Sorry if there's not enough light. There could be some carryover in your low threat uh, is your pocket choice. Maybe it's a, a snubby revolver, let's say, something like that. But carry weight matters. And have you actually checked safely when no one's around other than a bunch of doggies your carry weight? For instance, while I'm big and strong, some days I feel more like this guy. On days like that, I can't carry a lot. Can you expect this guy to carry a lot? You can't, but you can give me a like and a comment right now. But uh, some days I feel like that. I'm old, my body's beat up, I have lupus, so I do have a disability and people don't understand that. And so different days I can do different things and I also change based on threat assessment where you're going I also change a bit in the winter how many layers of clothing I think that I my bullet performance might have to defeat and hopefully still expand or at least not shrink so uh, let's get into it starting on the small end which is what I grabbed a minute ago these are loaded and be pointed in the safest direction down that way I need to check my loaded carry weights this is str 9 mc Already probably seen the unboxing video and the initial range video. You probably haven't seen the comparison to two other micros uh, whenever this airs. But I just had some thoughts on my mind. This is 16 plus 5 and a half, 21.4, 21.5 ounces, fully loaded, 11 plus 1, 21 and a half ounces. That's crazy of the Stoger STR9MC. Um, and I do borrow pistols and some are teenies and they go back to manufacturers and things like that. All right, for my nice dinner gun, and yes, I'm at the age now where I really don't go out at night unless I'm going to a nice meal. My nice dinner gun. Right now it is wearing the wood grips. I honestly haven't shot it with magnums yet. The rubber grips might be getting put back on. But boy, doesn't that look sexy. The Rossi RP63, beautiful budget buy. Look at all my many videos of this and the new one coming uh, with the premium gun grips, which any revolver and a few pistols you got, amazing grips for like $35 to $40. Premium gun grips, uh, those look awesome. They did add about an ounce and a half, it looks like. So this is fully loaded. We are looking at 16 plus 8.3, well, 16 point plus 9, that can't be right, 16, right now it's, it can't be right. Hold on a second guys. Alright, not sure why I was giving it false reads for a minute, this looks accurate now, 30 ounces. So the grips added me about an ounce and a half, it looks like, for a fully loaded weight, 27.2-ish empty. Uh, we're looking at 30 ounces loaded in with the grips. So drop an ounce, ounce and a half, I believe, for the rubber grips on the Rossi RP63. So 30 ounces, and the fact that with a long double action trigger, I can carry it in a leather holster instead of appendix holster. They they usually ride in the safes and appendix holsters, but they usually get carried. Now uh, my belly's gotten bigger, switching back for most of the time to three o'clock carry. And uh, having a double action trigger pull as opposed to striker, you feel safer in a leather holster, and that is a bit more comfortable riding on the side of your hip. Um, that holster's over there. I didn't grab it. So 30 ounces. I'm going to throw 
I'm going to throw this one back on there to see if we get a different read because it seemed awfully low. 16 plus just under 8, so 23.8 ounces. Yeah, we had too low earlier. Uh, this seems to be right, 23.7 ounces. 23.7 ounces. 23.7 ounces fully loaded, 11 plus 1. That's really, really very light. Okay, uh, now to the GX4 carry. It's about to get loud in here. GX4 carry. Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't need this. Okay, I didn't need it, thankfully. <laughs> okay, so GX4 carry. I am loving this thing so far. I vetted it, not really high round count enough for most people. For me, Hey man, it's your day, your day. I'm feeling good enough with it. Been so good in the first range of you. Uh, did accuracy of five hollow points and in my modern meat target testing, I think it's had seven more. So it's actually had 12 different types of hollow points, different grains, different pressures, uh, and that, you know, and, and feeding it fine and extracting and all that. So I'm feeling really good so far with the GX4 carry. I'm starting to carry it. This is replacing my Shield Plus when I want a thin, light carry. Now, I think it gained a little bit of weight because we got a 3.7 inch barrel instead of the 3.1 inch. Um, so this is really replacing the need for having a Shield Plus. We got one pound, 12 ounces. So that's 28 ounces. Let's try it again. Exactly, 28 ounces, 15 plus one with 124 grain HSTs will solve your problems most of the time, right? So thin light, this is my medium threat level threat level pistol. This is now my medium threat level pistol. So my low threat level pistol to nice dinners is the Rossi. Because unless you're in a bad area and they're more likely to have multiple armed robbers, Six shots of 357 will most likely get it done because I live in a nice area. So my thought process has changed a bit from when I was living outside Atlanta a few years ago and having much higher percentage need every year of defensive gun display to uh, drive would-be uh, armed robbers and carjackers away. And luckily, I have enough awareness that I reacted quickly enough where I didn't have to pull a trigger. So that's a good thing. Have awareness um, and all that. So discreet, typical. So typical, weighing in at 28 ounces. So it's actually less with 16 rounds and this is 30 ounces with six rounds. So you can debate that. But this does carry a bit easier because I don't have a good leather holster for this. So I got to wear this in Kydex and Kydex rubs a little bit more than feeling safe with this in leather. Now that I got the Don Hume K-frame holster that it fits perfectly in or the SP-101 3-inch, 3.1-inch uh, holster. It also fits perfectly in. Look at the Don Hume uh, Dual 357 Austin T-6 carry. That's pretty funny uh, video I did. So this is my typical carry. What do I mean by my typical carry? If I'm going out and about, or if I'm going to lunch, but I might go shopping somewhere like Walmart or Lowe's or um, pick up my MDF from Home Depot. <laughs> if I'm going into a big box store where I need, need more chances if there is an active shithead because there's multiples robbing it or there's one and it might be a long ball shot uh, in lieu of others to save others' lives where I might need more chances. That's why this uh, comes into play. So if I think I'm going to not just a nice dinner, but I'm going out and about not sure exactly where I might end up or I'm going into a big box store with long range and this might eventually get a micro red dot on it. Um, so I got the slide. I haven't swapped that on. I'll probably do that after this video uh, to put on a optic. That might be um, then what that is for. Okay. Now, what is higher threat level or very cold winter? Higher threat level or if my hips can take it, very cold weather is now going to be my HKP2000 in 40 Smith and Wesson. Oh my God, 40 sucks. No, it doesn't suck. Your recoil control sucks. You can't do 20 push-ups. Get off your ass. And uh, 
you or you only shot it in barrel swap blocks that were never engineered for it until Gen 5 at the request of Brazilian police. That's why the Gen 5 doesn't fit in the same holsters because it has a thicker and heavier slide. But if it's actually engineered for it, like every HK has ever been, or like an MP 2.0 or a VP 40 with the thicker slide than the VP 9, uh, etc., 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 P229, etc. If it was engineered for 40, 40 is friggin' awesome. It's bigger, it expands bigger. How much bigger? 1.65 times more bigger. HST to HST. So if you compare the best hollow points, 1.65 times more is a lot more tissue crush, a lot more expansion squared through the entire bullet path. So in winter time, I have more faith with a high energy 40, even from a short barrel, that I will get full hollow point expansion. Well, the nine millimeter at even six layers, when you're using the best, like an HST or a punch or a plus P gold dot. Yeah. Once you go above six layers, okay. 40 or 45 hollow points going to give you more expansion, more like if it's a hot 45, that's, but a 40 is going to give you, or a 10 mil is going to give you more hollow point expansion. And even if it didn't, even if it didn't, because it went through the arm and then the other arm, and that's six plus six plus six, that's 18 layers of clothing and a rib. It doesn't shrink. So higher thread area. Uh, I've got this condition three right now. So there's 12 plus one, here's my Barney, here's my plus one. I'm looking at two pounds, 2.4 ounces. So just under 35 ounces, that's actually a little lighter than when I took it earlier. And I've always said that 35 is kind of my hip limit, 34.4 ounces. Now, if I'm not feeling good, and lately that's been more often, and my body's hurting really bad because my cortisol is low. Some days this is, is harder to carry. So if I know I'm going to just a three hour out and about, three hours is kind of my limit. If I know it's like five, six hours, I'm more likely to carry something like that. And if you're just starting out, maybe you are too. And that's why something with the typical compact size, Glock 19 size, MMP size, P10C size, whatever, or now the macros, not a micro. I don't recommend the micro if you're brand new. Just three ounces is gonna make you handle the recoil a lot better. I think more and more companies are gonna come out with the macro. I think this is a better budget X macro because it has a trigger dingus, which is safer than not having it and a defined wall than not having a defined wall and just having mush. Uh, look at my range of view of this, something like this. I'm sure others are gonna be coming out where I like it better in that 3.3 to 3.8 inches barrel length anyway, but a lot better than the three or 3.1 inch micro barrel because you want full good hollow point expansion even if it goes through uh, multiple layers of clothing and big fat guy and fat tissues different than muscle etc and so forth you want to get that hollow point expansion that would pretty much cover this so this is just under 35 ounces 12 plus one with 180 grain that's good to know you can use a lower grain weight and maybe get you know save a half ounce half ounce to an ounce that might make a deal with you if it's something right on the border. Now, that probably covers it for most people. Um, and in most situations, in most situations, I'd rather be armed with a bigger caliber with lower round count. Because if I know things are dirty, I'm rolling with a couple extra magazines. Usually, I might not even. I might not even. There's probably a car mag, and you should probably have a car mag. And if a car mag gets stolen without the gun, that's not the biggest deal. But a car mag in your center console or glove box or something, having an extra car mag is probably a very good idea, even if you don't keep one on you, as long as it's a higher capacity and we're not talking like a single stack or something. If you're carrying a single stack, carry an extra mag. Okay. Um, or if you ever have accidental mag drops, carry an extra mag, uh, which you won't do on a paddle release, which is a huge benefit no one talks about. Okay, my duty weapon. I am on armed security. I've been working on armed security for over like three, two and a half, three years, over two years at this point. Um, you know, and I, different places, different stuff. HKP30L, I beat up John Wick, took his gun. If you don't think I can, 
you need to do more research, homie. Um, I have the highest rated self-defense instruction on the biggest site in the world, BJJ Fanatics, called Combatives and Street Jiu-Jitsu. I have four black belts. I fought MMA pro, but I did all that while having lupus, and now I'm really hurting and getting older. But I could probably still beat up John Wick. No offense, Keanu. I'd love to roll with you. It's cool, brother. Um, you've got some good throws. But uh, P30, oh, okay, why am I using this? Well, because I had it out from today because it changed hammer springs. And my HK is from the typical 12-pound hammer spring to a wolf 12-pound hammer spring, which, well, they're the same poundage. Well, it made a difference in the P2000. It didn't make that much of a difference in this, which is a little weird. But that's probably because this was shot a lot more, so that spring was already a bit shorter. Um, but it did make a big difference, even though it was supposedly both 12 pounds in the P2000 before I filmed that video today. Why would I carry a P30L or a Breda 92 or a Taurus P290, PT92 or a Bursa TPR9 or a HK45? Why would you carry a full-size pistol? Well, a few years ago, there was a little time period where things were really bad, where I go, a full-size with weapon-mounted light might be the right thing to be doing. And extra mags, too. And a backup gun, too. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know where you've been. But there are times, and hopefully... It looks like there's going to be times again where something like this. And it's a good home defense. This is my home defense. I would like to have bigger caliber with a weapon mounted light, but it depends on a good holster with mono block or DLCC clips like this that I can throw on my belt. I have another one with a weapon mounted light. This is, most of these are tool star holsters, uh, by the way. This is not rebalancing to zero. Give me a second. Not a very well-produced video, but thank you for staying with me. Um, but if you're new to carrying, this might give you some thoughts and or justification by a new pistol. What we're all looking for, 2 pounds, 0.36 ounces. So just under 36 ounces, just over 35. And 35 is really about my limit. So even there, uh, what am I, 17 plus 1 right now, or 15 depending on what fucking stupid draconian laws. Anyway, it's the engineered magazine that came with it called Common Use. Standard Capacity. Whatever it is. I don't know because I don't have a very good memory, right? So anyway, um, and there are some stendos for that directly from HK nowadays. Um, if things really get bad... Full size high capacity nine. Now, if it's a really high capacity forty or forty five, maybe, maybe because those are going to do more. Whether you believe it or not, they're going to do more if you only land two. If you only got time to put one or two in each um, charging murderous group of mentally ill people coming after you, something like that. So. Just over 35, just under 35, 30 with these grips, probably like 28 and a half uh, with the rubber grips, 30 topped off, and I think we were at 23 and a half, which is amazing. Highest capacity to size and weight ratio other than maybe a Hellcat, though it has a 0.3 inch longer barrel, better ballistics, it handles recoil better, STR9MC, Stoger, um, you're going to want to check that out. My video is coming on the... Uh, GX4 carry. I am carrying it pretty often now. Um, this is the other. Well, this is a Tolster holster. Use code Dan the Wolfman. This is a Tolster holster. Use code Dan the Wolfman. Uh, this one's actually Jam Custom Kydex uh, modified a little bit for it. This is a Tagua generic leather holster that works so good in other things and particularly. DASA autos, revolvers, I'll throw in leather. I'm fully okay with that. Even occasionally a striker fired that has a triggered dingus safety. Now this has actually been riding lately with the contour holster, tolster contour holster for a P320 that fits literally just about everything and says it has this nice retention tab. Legally, I'm not telling you to do anything like that. I'm just suggesting maybe you pick up this P320 Tolster holster using Code Dan the Wolfman for your P320 and know that it has this adjustability tab that works on just 
about, I don't know, anything. Um, so it's actually been riding in there. Now, if it's longer than three hours, it, it, this is very comfortable for a Kydex outside waistband holster contour. It's very comfortable. Is it as comfortable as leather? No, not really. Not after like three hours for me is kind of my mark. So that's why something like this is typically going to go into something like this. Just because it's less hot spots pressing against you uh, if you're in a car a long time or if you're sitting at a long dinner. So we talked about weights. Let's go back to threat assessment reasons. Okay, so you need a Micro 9 or a Snub Nose lightweight revolver. Uh, I don't have an 856 Ultralight, but I plan on getting one at some point. I, like I've been planning on for like four years. Um, but I do have other things you've seen snubbies on my channel. Uh, for particularly discreet, or you're going to a family function barbecue, that kind of thing, which not is an open carry a show off barbecue gun, which by the way, this with these grips works pretty darn good too. And I'm getting another pimped out gun real soon here. Maybe it's right over there. Um, so anyway, guys, um, low threat, low threat, low threat. If you want to get in revolvers because it makes you a better shooter and because they're friggin' cool, don't let the internet stop you. Know how to shoot a revolver because it makes your shooting and everything else better. Okay. Um, and they're cool. And if you live in a nicer area, which I do now, and I know if as long as I go there and I don't drive in that direction where a car may break down downtown, I am okay. If I'm broken down downtown, I want something with a little more capacity. Or ideally, if I was purposely going downtown for whatever reason, even though I'm an old fart now, um, I'm, I'm taking higher caliber and higher capacity. If I got 13 and you can make it Instead of 12 plus 1, 13 plus 1. There's mag compatibility around HK. So get on some HK forms and in that stuff. Um, I will take 13 or 14 total of 40 over 15 to 18 of 9 mil. If I actually thought I had a higher chance of there being a problem. Debate me in the comments down below, but I'm actually doing ballistics testing. I'm doing meat and bone targets testing, and I have more data from the actual FBI than anyone else, apparently, uh, as well as all the official data than anyone else from big companies like the best federal ammunition, or I also way back machined all the old Winchester data, um, you know, and uh, Hornady data and all of that kind of stuff. So... What I just showed you is five different pistols. Well, one revolver. Revolver is technically a pistol too, but five different and at least three, maybe different weights for different threats. Have a low threat option, have a mid threat option, have a high threat option. No, you should only carry one and only train with one. And oh my God, yeah, that's really awesome. If uh, all you ever knew was a Glock because you were a friggin' cop and now you teach, but you're really not that good. Cool. Whatever, dude. Um... And if you want to keep things a little interesting, every couple of years you can switch. Like, now this is replacing the shield, plus my 40 is now replacing. After today's more vetting, I should run a few more hollow points. Um, but uh, wherever I just put that down. Sorry, I got a flashlight in my face to try and help with the lighting, which apparently isn't helping that much. Anyway, guys, I've babbled forever. Who do you think my real bio daddy is? Do you think it's this guy right here? Or do you think it's Sensei Steven? Since genetically we have so much in common with our way of blending all the martial paths together. Huh? Or do you think it's that old UFC wrestler Dan the B7? Which one do you think? Please in the comments down below. Say Sly or Sensei Steven. Sensei Steven Seagal or Dan the B7. The first wrestler kicking butt in the UFC is my first famous UFC trainer I had. Guys, I struggle all this time because I don't know who my bio dad really, really is. Mama was a hoe. What can I say? Um, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm having a little fun here. And uh, do you have three or four pistols that fit different roles? Have you actually thought of them for different roles? Do you have a full size as your bed stand? So this with a weapon mounted light and a different holster uh, that has DLC clips to throw in your underwear or your, your pajama pants or your stretchy pants, your 
whatever you're wearing to bed, that's the way to go. That's what this is now, even though I'd prefer it if it was in 40, but I didn't get back into 40 until recently. Um, or 45, it was high cap. That could actually take a weapon mounted light that you have. So, like, that's an issue. Um, and having a holster that works for all that is kind of the biggest issue. So, do you have something for bedside full size that also, when the S to the H to the T to the F happens, you have that? Do you have your, yo, I'm going to a bad area gun. This is now going to be become my going to a bad area gun. This one is not chamber loaded, so I can do this. Has the excess uh, sights. Oh, those don't work. Well, today I showed it 15, and then I showed it 25 at the end of the video. You might want to check that out, and I wasn't even familiar with it yet, with that big dot. I think it's the big dot. And uh, excess sights. Use code Dan the Wolfman. Are you just, no, I'm going to keep things simple, homie. I got my Glock 19 budget clone, which the only good budget clone is the Bull Axe. Look at that in the upcoming Paul Hill, Paul Hill tribute video. So either a compact or a macro is really what I recommend. If it's your first gun, get a compact or a macro, kind of do anything gun, because quite frankly, this is going to be just good enough for home defense anyway. As long as you got a good handheld or better yet, a good holster with a weapon mounted light, that would do dual duty as well, uh, like this GX4 carry. Get a compact or a macro size is my recommendation. Then you might want to get the full size. Then you might want to get the micro. And then somewhere in there is maybe the bad area gun or a different caliber gun to find ammo because remember what happens when you can't find the nine millimeter 40 was still available and you might want to get the uh, low threat and that could combine into the um that could combine into the pocket gun like maybe with the a56 ultralight which i always recommend in so many videos and i don't have one yet so i really need to get one um something to that Effect. Or if you got more money, a K6S or, I don't know, a, a Cobra or something along uh, those lines, uh, LCR, etc. Um, of course. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you thought it out based on carry weight, based on size, based on threat level? And do you have three to five that are going to be your carry rotation um, like this, this really, this is just bedside and not really carry rotation unless things get spicy again. Um, the other four are now going to start being commonly carried. So my carry rotation now, you're pretty much looking at it. Uh, and I guess that's two nine millimeters, a 40 and a 357. I'm a multi caliber person. I can't be pinned just down, down one. You know, it's all about being open and all of that stuff. I'm a, I don't know what the word is now. Like, damn it. There, I know there's one of those words they made up. You know, I'm talking about being a multi-caliber loving person, a poly, polycal, I'm polycaliber. There's another word too. I can't think of it right now. Polycaliber. I shouldn't film videos late at night that run too long. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Get in the comments. Tell me what a weirdo I am. And have you thought these things through? You don't got to say what pistols because that lives on forever. You know, you're typing on Google. Um, but you might want to say I have a micro 9, a mid-size 40, and a full-size 45. Like, give me something generic. Don't list specifics. Give me something generic in the comments down below. Or I got... One compact nine mil, and I only do nine mil because nine mil is the bestest and it's the cheapest. Uh, so whatever. But do you have a couple of different weight and sizes? Have you thought about your threat assessment? Have you thought about carry for different threat areas? Where you're going, what you're doing? Let me know below. Kaboom.